Welcome back YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new, my name is Sarah and you clicked on this video because you also want to know if you should be joining a weight loss challenge. What ones should you stay away from? Which ones are the best ones? If you want to know these things, just stay tuned. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. So really, this is gonna be a quick video, and if you're wondering why I have such crazy makeup for something that is about a weight loss challenge video, I just filmed doing this look. So I will put the video up here in the cards. Ooh, got a hair, random hairs, you know? You know, I just think that there is something that when it comes to weight loss that we all need to be very conscious of. And there are typically two types of weight loss programs, challenges, out there um and nor and sometimes the friends will want to like create a group went um create a group and it'll be okay like whoever loses the most weight in the next month two months whatever whatever time frame it is you know wins the pot of money or gets the babysitting for um, a night or a weekend for you and your husband to go away. Okay, all those kind of things. Basically, the types are one, whoever loses the most weight or, and you'll, you'll hear which one I like most, but the other one is about based on weight loss percentage, like body weight percentage. Um, so I don't even know when it got started, but in the last few years, I've heard a lot more about dietbet.com and it's definitely become more popular. Lots of influencers use it. They create their own groups and if you join, etc. Um, and the whole idea behind diet bet is that if you lose your your goal basically and they kind of set a standard goal that everyone lose four percent of their body weight it's not body fat but body weight in the time i think i think it's like two months but i can't remember oh this is cool there's actually a, a place called on diet bet it's maintainer challenge rules so like people who are just want to go through a challenge where they're maintaining their weight then there's transformer ones and then there is the weight loss ones so from the ones that I was aware of, the diet bet was 4% in one month. And then if you met that goal, then you got your money back plus uh, whatever portion of the pot it was split up amongst everyone who won. This is a really healthy way to approach a weight loss challenge versus wait, whoever loses the most weight, you know, because those type of formats really encourage people to go the unhealthy route. They go too extreme, they're trying to lose weight too fast. I have rarely met anyone who kept the weight off afterwards or lived that way afterwards. It was always very temporary, even though that temporary takes a while. I mean, if they're doing it for two months, that's a long time to live that way. And I've done, frankly, that kind of thing before, just not in a group atmosphere. And I freak out after a while. It's just not, mm -mm, it's just not maintainable. And I'm just totally done with stuff like that. And I really, really urge people to be very cautious and weary of going into any kind of challenge or group of friends, even though they might love you the most or mean the best. It's just, I just feel like it's unwise to go into a group that is based off of whoever loses the most. Our bodies are just so unique and we just have so many variables that are different from one person to the next that can affect how much weight that you lose week to week. Um, and I think too that we need to learn to be more satisfied with losing weight slower, doing it in a more long-term mentality. It's something that I wish I would have done a long time ago. And I just, I'm, I'm at least thankful that hopefully I can help people not have to learn so as slowly as I did. Um, because like I have a lot of friends who are also trying to lose weight, but for some of them, it's kind of 
the first time in their life or like they never really struggled with weight when they were younger or before babies you know and that kind of a thing it's kind of a new world to them and it's one that i've lived in for a long time and some might say well then you know who am i to talk about this because i've failed so much at it but you know what i've learned a lot through because i've done it a lot of different ways and right now i've just been maintaining my weight for the last two months um just kind of experimenting with my body i'm not as low i haven't got my weight down to where i totally want it per se but i'm just really busy at this time of year as we're coming into spring my husband and i start working outside a lot and um i've been doing a lot of stuff for church so i've just been really busy and i haven't had time to put as much energy and focus into certain parts of losing weight and so I've been getting workouts done but I've been working out a little bit less and I haven't totally dialed in my food as of most recently so those two aspects have um, kept me from like continuing the decline but I've been maintaining and that's been a really cool thing to experience as I just kind of see my my weight just go like this um, you know so it's like oh this is what maintenance can feel like and it's totally doable so you know basically you know if you find a a group a challenge or whatever where the winnings is based off of kind of like a whole goal um that's based off of more of a percentage and it's not yours ver it's more of you competing against yourself oh my gosh like that's the way to go compete against yourself don't compete against others. Don't compare yourself to others. Man, they've got different metabolisms. They've got different genetics. They've got, you know, different DNA, different family history, different health problems, or you do, or what, you know, that lim limitations, injuries, all of that. These things have are major factors into what your journey will look like. Don't compare yourself to others. Just compete against yourself and you will find a lot more success. So don't be afraid to go it the slow way. Just slow and steady wins the race, right? <laughs> oh man, you know, um, it's okay to lose less than two pounds a week. And, uh, you know, so just, just accept that and embrace it, love it, and find success in that. I really hope you do. So I hope you find this helpful um, and that it will help guide you into or away from future invites to groups and help you down your journey of success <laughs> anyway it's just a quick little snippet about this thank you so much for watching as always do the deed down there comment down below i really want to know if you what type of challenges maybe you've done in the past if you've um also like me kind of ignored some of the invites to some that felt unhealthy that you knew wouldn't be the best for you and of course like it if you appreciate this video don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell until next time stay blessed have a great night bye bye